So we're back again with now another NBA 2K20 My Team video and boy oh boy am I excited for this one because it's been a very long grind. I know it hasn't taken the longest but I've just been grinding it out like crazy. But we're about to get our first Galaxy Opal, this Evolution Isaiah Thomas. We have him at Pink Diamond right now. He's a beast and all we need is just 16 more points to reach that 5,000 mark and then it's done. So the way that you get this card, I actually had a lot of questions in the last video as to how you get him. You have to get him through the collector levels. So you get a lot of good players through the collector levels but at 750 cards you get Isaiah and this card starts in an amethyst but he evolves into a galaxy opal and it is a very long grind but to be honest it is going to be worth it because the game has only been out for just over a week and we're already about to have a galaxy opal so anyway the way I do this is I play triple threat offline I am going to do a new video as to how to evolve players quicker because it's a little part two but yeah we're going to go let's see what team we're playing against we're playing against Rondo Antonio Davis and Marcus also a pretty good defensive team but you just watch. We're going to get these 16 points. It literally doesn't matter if I win or lose. All I got to do is score 16 points. So let's just get three of them right here. Get them to go under the screen. Okay, he didn't go under the screen this time. Will he go under? Yep, there's the three. There's the green. That's three. It's actually funny playing with evolving players because I always think the word is evolutionized for some reason rather than evolve. I don't know why. It's always what comes to my head. Like I've never put it in a video, but the amount of times I say it is insane as we miss there. Okay, fine. Like so many times in a video, I have to cut out me saying evolutionize because I say it a lot. Should have just pulled that three straight away, but we're going to take that one. Bad release, but it's probably going to drop. Nah, it misses, but we're going to kick it back out. Call another pick and roll. Get him to go under. Get Rondo to maybe go under. No, heavily contested. It's going to go in though. Come on, Isaiah. Hit this other three for me. It's a little bit deeper. It's a better release, but it's in. Another three. Another green. 12. And a little fun fact. I did say that I was going to post a video as to how to beat Domination very quickly and everything. Beat it easily. But I just haven't been playing Domination, which is why I haven't. I've literally just been grinding this Isaiah and that's it. So really, I'm going to release a video as to how to do these challenges quickly. And then once I get back into Domination, you guys will see the domination tip video but anyway all we need is just three more for this game to finish and i don't know why i decided to take that shot but we're going to catch and shoot this one that's going to be a two and it's going to go in wow and all we need to do is take one more shot with isaiah and once we do we'll win all right so here we go isaiah thomas for the galaxy opal to get it done and there we go now the real question is will we be able to open the vault i still haven't got cliff hagen and i've played almost 500 games i think which is insane almost 400 we didn't open the vault yeah i played 382 so kind of crazy but when we go over to my team you guys can see card evolution right here i can't believe we're about to do this but isaiah thomas has ticks against everything so we had to score 5,000 points 353s 400 assists and play 75 games and trust me that's that's a big grind but we're about to evolve this card you can see the upgrades he gets from the pink diamond it's actually pretty big the biggest one in my opinion is speed goes up by six as well with speed with ball and also he gets unplockable hall of fame clutch shooter hall of fame and floor general and he's already a beast of a card for me his three goes up by two so i just want to evolve this i want to get it done to a galaxy opal will the animation be better be different I don't know, but here we go. Galaxy, Opal, Isaiah Thomas, and there's the card. It actually was. It had like those celebrations, the little uh, sparks. I don't know, but our first Galaxy Opal, Isaiah Thomas, man, I, I'm so hyped. I can't believe we did this. I'm pretty sure I'm the first in the world. I haven't seen anyone else on Twitter, on YouTube with this card, but yes, we have already got our first Galaxy Opal in the game, and I love the card art. I actually really do like the Galaxy Opal border this year. I feel like it's so clean, and obviously it's five foot nine, which is a little bit of an issue, but five foot nine this year is actually pretty good. And now when we have a look at his stats, like just look at this, 97 three, 95 free throw. Obviously he can't dunk, but 95 ball handling, 97 passing, 84 still not bad defense at 82 perimeter and his perimeter defense to start off with his amethyst is trash so that's a huge upgrade from the amethyst to the opal but then this is one thing i love 97 speed 97 speed with ball 97 excel he's just like the flash 92 vertical as well 87 lateral quickness like his defense is actually pretty good his tendencies for dunking is not good at all but obviously that's because he can't dunk and then like yeah his tendencies are fine his system proficiencies are extremely good and then he comes with 19 
Hall of Fame badges, including 23 gold badges. So I'll just read out the best ones, which I think are pretty much most of them. So he has Volume Shooter, Catch and Shoot, Floor General, Acrobat, Tyler Scorer, Relentless Finisher, Green Machine, Ankle Breaker, Fle Flexible Release, which is a big one, Dead Eye, Clutch Shooter, Consistent Finisher, Space Creator, Quick First Step, which is one of the biggest, Giant Slayer, and Slithery Finisher, which you 100% need on a 5 foot 9 guard. And then he also has 23 gold, as I said, and he does have Quick Draw. I'm pretty sure, doesn't he? Doesn't he? Doesn't he? Yeah, there we go. Gold Quick Draw. So anyway, very soon I'm about to do a token spending spray. My team's going to get so much better, but already it's actually not looking bad, hey? Especially with this man sitting here, Galaxy Opal Isaiah Thomas. And also when I go to home, and I think we're going to get like quite a bit of MT or something from this. I don't know what we're getting, how much MT. Oh. I, okay. <laughs> so we completed a three-star evolution. I thought it was going to be like completed Galaxy Opal, but no, it was literally just the weekly challenge. That's kind of boring. But I did get 20,000 MT when I evolved him from a diamond to a pink diamond. So that's why I was expecting a little more. But anyway, I'm going to play a game of Triple Threat online with him right now. I'm not going to leave you guys with just me talking video. We're going to get a little bit of gameplay and then I'm going to wait for some My Team Unlimited gameplay later today. So be on the lookout for that. But yeah, I'm hyped to see what this car can do in an online game. So without further ado, let's get into the first. And we've found our opponent obviously he's not going to have a galaxy opal so our team is pretty much guaranteed to be better and yes i'm using george because he's a monster this year so there's no reason for me not to as it's just a black screen but that's the team we're going against we really should win this but i'm expecting isaiah to pop off real quick man i can't believe i'm seeing this day look at the galaxy opal little symbol gem symbol right next to him it is beautiful and i haven't really played online a lot which is one thing that's going to be a little bit difficult but Hopefully you guys will see the gameplay and hopefully you won't just be laughing at me the whole time. So one thing I do want to see, okay, we've got those percentages. I think that's with these badges we get that percentage there. Is that with like Hall of Fame floor general or something? I really don't know that we get the percentages next to his name. Like I I, I don't know, but it is pretty sick. We'll kick it to him here. Then we'll pull that. That's such a low percentage, but we did miss. We don't get the rebound. I just need to take normal shots. I need to kind of play normally with the card as he greens the three there. But yeah, this is one of the badges that he has and it gives him these percentages, which it's actually really sick and you can see that he does finish also i'm a big fan of the gem flash that's in the top right there as we're gonna get a spin that is beautiful like trust me when i say this smaller players this year are just absolutely insane they just got so much speed all right here we go isaiah on the fast break this time and let's just take a fading three that's actually a really good shot and it misses wow i just want to apologize about my gameplay i know it's trash right now but that's just because i haven't played online just because i was full on grinding out this so hard so now that i've done it we should be good and we should be good to go and we'll hopefully be able to do better gameplay as how does he make that with Kyrie? We need to show him up. We need to show Kyrie up. We need to kick it to Isaiah. That was almost a turnover, but you know what? We're going to pull the moving shot three and it lagged mid shot, which was really annoying, but we did get the board. We did kick it out. We pulled another one and he makes that. We started playing a little bit better, better defense too. And you know what? I'm going to kick this one to JR and that's not really what I wanted, but it worked. Just give me that rebound. We're going to run up with Isaiah here. And I was thinking about pulling the three. You know what? I am going to pull the three. It's kind of deep, but Isaiah can make those. Yeah, we're starting to get a few stops here and now to JR. JR just finished this off. But yeah, if you don't know what these percentages next to Isaiah's name mean, it means his coverage on the shot right now. So it's actually pretty cool that he's able to have it. And he is just showing that he can slide through these taller players. I can't speak, bro, but that's the first win. So yeah, I mean, we can't really stop at that. We have to get into another game. Let's get to it. So my next opponent's team definitely isn't bad at all, but Isaiah, it's time to shine. I really do want to check out his defense. Like his defense doesn't seem too bad as Ray Allen just pretty much gets past me really easily there. And then he takes the mid range. Luckily he misses. We get the rebound, kick it to IT. Then we get in the snatch back. Then we're kicking it here. And then we're going inside. Just take it all the way. Go past Rick Smith. I'm telling you, like height doesn't matter this year. Kind of. Like sure he would be a much better card if it was, oh, what am I doing? What am I doing? This dude's actually played quite a lot of triple threat online. I'm probably going to lose this game to be honest because I just haven't played triple threat online at all. All I got to say is I'm definitely losing this game. I'm not too sure how many clips I'm going to show just because like it's not going to be a good game. I feel like this dude plays a lot of triple threat online because me personally, not not at all. I made this excuse like a hundred times, but the reason my releases aren't good is because I've just been playing offline way too much that I'm not really used to the online little lag that you get. But anyway, I will practice before my My Team Unlimited gameplay to try and get a good one for you guys because I feel like that's kind of needed. Maybe I'll turn my shot meter off too just to get that little boost as we're getting across here. Jumping, not really the best jump, but Rick Smith should miss that. And we're gonna pull down that board, kick it to Isaiah, and then what? Just take a fading three? That's a good shot, isn't it? That has to, wow. I mean, this is like, 
make it kind of embarrassing just how many shots we're missing, but it's all right. Let's take it past Rick Smith and then get a little spin. Go up there. I'm telling you, it's a beast inside. Come on, Isaiah. Get this ball, then pull the shot. That's a good release this time. There we go. This dude is really good at releases too, which really doesn't help too much as we're giving this one to JR. Taking the shot close, green light. We are making a little bit of a comeback, which is good. I'm just going to take this one all the way. He tried to get the inbound steal, which means I'm getting the easy two. This game is not Isaiah's fault. That's just what I have to keep on saying because my releases are trash. What just happened? Did did y'all just sit? Like he passed me the ball, and then I didn't get it. I I I really don't know. I dare you to take that shot. I dare you to take that shot. Okay, fine. All right, fine. This man does not deserve to win on that. On that. <laughs> I mean, it doesn't bother me. It's all right. I was just showing a little bit of gameplay with Isaiah. And I know I just lost with an Opal, but hopefully you guys can understand. <laughs> so fun fact, I've now played three games of online 2K20 this year. And I think I've played like 600 offline. So that's my excuse. I don't think I'm that trash. <laughs> anyway, when we look at this beautiful card again, he's going to be so much better in Unlimited. I don't even know if I really use him in Triple Threat offline, but look at how many games I've played with this man. 435. He averages 22 points, but this is just because of Triple Threat Offline. But yeah, like, uh, you guys can see, I've played a lot to get this man to where he is today. So that's how many games of Triple Threat Offline it's probably going to take even more. Because I did do quite a few domination games where I was dropping like 100 points with him. So it's probably going to take roughly like 500 Triple Threat Offline games to get this card from an Amethyst to a Galaxy Opal. But anyway, I'm so happy we're able to get this done. Our first Galaxy Opal on the team, and hopefully there's more to come. So hopefully you guys enjoyed too. Make sure to smash that like button if you did. The last video of me getting the pink diamond did extremely well, so hopefully this one does even better. So be sure to smash that like button. And yeah, also be sure to subscribe if you're new. Follow me on Twitch, Twitter, and Instagram. And I'll catch you guys in the next video. Bye.